Semi-structured data contains a wealth of information. It is great for systems that create varied and changing data, so think websites or IoT devices. But because it's so flexible, it makes my life as a data engineer very tricky. How can you split changing data into columns? If you know some of it's static, you could partially apply a schema and then hope that everything you need is in there. But if you don't have that luxury, you have to save it all out as a string, which is slow, and then you have to unpick it later on in your pipeline. Not ideal. Until now, that is, Databricks has brought out a new column type, Variant, and it's designed to deal with this exact situation. Let me show you. In this location, I've saved a jumble of IoT semi-structured JSON files ready to be ingested. They have mismatched schemas, they have nulls, and let's assume it'll change over time. I've created an empty table with one column that's my new type, Variant. Now, when I insert into with my JSON data, I don't have to specify my schema. Instead, I can use the keyword pass JSON, and it's going to do all the hard work for me of figuring out what the structure should be. And when I query the data, not only does it have a nice structure to it, but I can start extracting specific subfields like user ID and city, even if they're not relevant to every record. One further nice surprise is the performance. Now, my data here is tiny, so I'm not gonna really notice it, uh, but when the team did their benchmarking, they saw a performance speed up of about 8x. This is down to two main things. Variant is smaller. It's a sleek binary encoding instead of bulky text. The second is that navigation to subfields is now faster because it can skip data using offsets. Now, this is pretty technical. If you want to learn about it in more detail, you can go have a look at Jean and Chen Hao's talk at Data and AI Summit, or go have a look at it on GitHub because it is available in open source Spark and Delta. To use it on Databricks, you'll need a cluster runtime of at least 15.3. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot on Data and AI, follow for more.